So, hello everyone, and here I am with my last RoboRiders review of Throwback Thursdays, and this one's on the largest one, the Boss. And so, well, so on the front of the box here, see Lego Technic logos and eight, the amount of pieces, which is 125 pieces, and picture of the set that comes within. And set number 7516 has meant for 7 plus. Then RoboRiders logo and his name, the boss. Then I flip it over. Oh, whoops. And here's the alternate build with and same stuff. And also, can like joint split into three. Also, to note is that I oh, won't be showing this one in this video. Just this one. Just not like I did with uh, Throwback Millennia uh, a few Throwback Thursdays ago, and yeah. So now on to the booklet. Which on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And then put the back. It's actually a reversible thing, showing the combination model. And in the middle of this booklet. Add for some older Technic sets. And then flip over and then add for all the Roller Riders, which I have reviewed. And now to the set himself. Of which for a Roller Rider, pretty cool one. So, like, just like what Dustin Onyx had is. A throwback head with a visor on it, and same feature as the others. And also, what's kind of neat is two of the like large uh, main body pieces for them, but used to move the wings, where you can like turn the little bits of oh, whoops and make these lap fold in and out. And also the same ducking feature. And but also the little gear things as them, but in orange, which would be which is useful for mocking. And just like what Millennia Throwbot had is the large wheels of which and blanket, they twirl and spin just fine. But do you have some of the regular Rubber Rider head pieces, but with a couple of flame prints on it to look like it's actually flying off and all. But the main feature of which is you can slide this off and it can fly off like on the box picture. And this lower part of which also still does the like raise and lower and ducking feature. And also like Millennia Throwbot is also the little pound pieces with stickers on them, which you get a couple extra of in this set. And onto its wheels, which come in black. But the alternate model does have the same uh, wheel shooting function as the others do. And also the uh, one right here. And another right here. And you wonder, how tall is he compared to, uh, compared to like a regular Robo Rider and Bonic sets? Like compared to Swamp here, a good little bit taller. And compared to First Tahu here, almost about as tall as him, whereas the original Tawamata were like half the price of them. And then, Now on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a, a great cool set of the Robo Riders. Like it's in two forms, like Millennium Throwback did. Which if you have built the other model, then you would it has then have some extra deep features and all. In this model, in which also has a split flying thing, which the other ones don't, which is kind of interesting. So.
so if you like still have this set and have good memories of it then hope you share it sir also if you still have access to this set then I'd say go ahead and get it and that's about it with this review for a throwback Thursday All the Robo Riders are right here. So from right to left. So here we have Power, Dust, Onyx, uh, Frost, Swamp, Lava, and the Boss. Well, minus the like small little uh, polybag promo sets. But that'll be in a few. Will I get them in the future? Maybe. But here they are. At least they were an all right step in the for the construction line. Well, not as much as the throwbots were, at least until the uh, until, until the start of Bionicle, that is, which will be next next Throwback Thursday. So yes, get to review some do Bionicle class reviews after that, and yeah, if you still have this collection of which. Hope you had some good memories with them, and yeah, that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.